All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another music bot checking out Lemon, or Lemon Music, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a music bot that kind of does away with a lot of the frills and thrills that other bots have that a lot of people, I feel, don't use, and focuses on two things, playing music and also having the ability to create your own playlist based upon the music that you currently have in your music queue that you're listening to. So in typical music bot tutorial fashion, I'm going to kick the music bot from my server so that it's not on here and I can actually show you how like you invite them to your server. I'm gonna go up to the upper left-hand corner, I'm gonna go to server settings, I'm gonna go to the app directory in the left-hand sidebar, and this is where you'll find all of your apps in one convenient place already inside of Discord. And I'm just gonna type in lemon. And here you can see it's number two in the list of citrus related uh, shenanigans. And we'll just click on that. And it says here that it's a moderation and tools bot, but it's actually a music bot. It plays high quality music from platforms like Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, and more. And before anyone asks, it does not play from YouTube. That is disabled intentionally by the developers I already tried. So to add this to your server, all you do is click the blue add to server button. Tell it what server you want it on. I want it on my test server. Click continue. Go ahead and give it all of the permissions that it wants and click on authorize there at the bottom and then prove that you're not a robot beep booper. And then we'll just go back to the server and check it out. So this particular bot doesn't like announce itself when it enters the server. It just kind of appears in the, the right hand sidebar. So just sort of be aware of that. And it doesn't use slash commands yet. It just uses a prefix of plus. So let's check out all the different stuff that it does. I'll just open up and have it grab all of the commands. So like I was saying before, it does two things and it does two things only. It plays music and allows you to take that music and save it as a playlist so that if you like to listen to the same songs a lot, you can very easily go back and reload those songs that you saved to a playlist. So I'll show you how to do that. But I think first we'll just take a look at some of the other commands. Um, one of the things I will say though is I would just prefer if these two screens were just one screen. Like this bot doesn't have so many commands that like this pop-up window and this little embed window couldn't be the same window. Just telling me all the great stuff that this bot does and then showing me all the commands. That aside, I'm gonna jump into a listen here channel because 90% of music bots prefer you to actually be in a, like a sound voice channel before they'll actually listen to your commands and behave themselves. And from here, let's check out things like what is the ping like for this bot? Because I'm checking this bot out at around 6.30 mountain time. That's about 8.30 Eastern time. So kind of like in the midst of peak hours on a Friday. And it's got a it's got a ping of about 160 milliseconds, which is about average for bots. And especially during peak hours, that's actually not bad. So that's not too bad. And what's the stats like on that bad boy? So the stats are, this has been online for six hours and 30 minutes. That's like the last time it was restarted. It's operating on Linux. It's using about 12% of its CPU bandwidth. Uh, the ping actually went down to 150 and it's currently on 89 servers, it's got 68,000 members, it's in active in five voice chat channels. That's kind of cool. You can kind of see all that stuff here. Um, so I guess the only thing left to do is just start to play some music. So let's throw on some Alan Walker, Dreamer, because that won't get me in trouble with YouTube, and then we'll just play some Kupix if looks can kill. And because this works off of Spotify, I presume you can just throw in a Spotify or a SoundCloud link. Personally, I know the names of the songs that I like to play to showcase bots, so I just kind of grab them by name. You can also use their search feature to look for music if you're not sure what it's called or if you have the right song. So that's kind of handy. So once you start adding music, you can quickly let's just look at like what's in your queue. And one of the things I do like about how their queue system works is they not only show you the list of upcoming songs, but they include what is currently playing for a song as well along by with who requested it. 
So something that's kind of annoying when you're moderating a large server full of people that can be a little bit trolly is if they put weird songs in there just to be offensive towards somebody. Then you can tell who's doing it so you can block their ability to use the bot. Very nice. Um, some of the other stuff that this bot does is you can change the prefix as well. And you can also enable 24-7 mode. I, I don't really need that and I'm fine with the current prefix, but you have those options if that's what you're looking for. And then you can also do things like we can pause the music and then we can resume. All of your basic sound commands are here. The only things that this bot doesn't have are things like the filters. And personally, I never use the filters. I've never seen them used outside of me testing them for fun. Uh, I assume they're kind of like a, a gag thing people do once or twice just for shits and giggles, and then they move on with their life. Um, so let's talk about the ability to create playlists in this bot. So at any time you can create, using the create command, a playlist by simply doing create and then the name. So let's do NCS test as my test playlist. Now, when I create a playlist, this is just a label. There's nothing in it. So I'm going to make sure that I've got other songs in there first. So let's clear the queue and let's stop the bot. And I'm just going to, I'm going to start the bot from scratch just to make sure that we have a good foundation. So let's just put in Alan Walker streamer again, and then we'll start adding things like cage Oni and then bloom. And we'll add Rival Falling, and then Josh Rubin's Surrender. That should be a, a good number of them. So if we look at the queue, here's our songs. I got four of them plus the one that's playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the current queue to that playlist of the NCS test. So we're going to type in Save Queue to NCS Test. And now all those songs are now added to that playlist so that if I stop the bot, or I pause it or clear the queue, those songs will be re-added to the playlist. So we can type in clear the queue, and then we'll type in load NCS test. And then boom, all of those tracks have been added to the queue and it'll tell you how many. So we can open up the queue again. It'll have the duplicate of Alan Walker up first, but that's fine. But you can see this is a really easy way to just immediately get the bot to start playing music from a playlist without having to do anything special. So if I stop the bot and then I tell it to load the playlist again. Whoops, is that going to. Oh, well, maybe it wants me to have the, the bot already in here. So let's play. Um. Nefix Desperate. And then we can load NCS Test. So you just have to have at least one song currently playing for it to load those tracks. And then if we type in the queue again, you can see it's loaded all the previous songs that I had. And if you don't want to have the current song playing, you can just tell it to just skip that song and just go straight back to the songs that you were playing from your playlist. So that's kind of handy. And for the most part, like I found this bot to be very responsive. It, it's also not used by a ton of servers yet, so it will probably remain very responsive until it gets more popular. It plays music. It has the ability to save playlists. And that's it. It's very simplistic. It doesn't have extra frills to worry about. It's very snappy. So far, I haven't had any like stuttery lag or anything. And it's been pretty snappy. So check it out for yourselves. This has been a look at Lemon Music Bot. I'll put a link to the bot in the video description below. You can also find it in the app directory. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.